again uh, from uh, Godridge Memorial Hospital and I have Dr. Uh, Singhal with me and they'll present the case. Yeah. Uh, good afternoon everyone. Uh, this is a 66 year old male gentleman who presented to us with an anterior wall non-ST elevation MI troponin positive. Ejection fraction is about 35% with regional wall in the mid LED. Good. 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 So uh, the angio shows a uh, distal left main. Show. Uh, show the Can we show the angio? Or show this? Yeah. Good. Yeah. We are not given much dye because patient is coughing. To me that usually means high EDP. We are given the IV Lasix. We are giving a beta blocker 2.5. And uh, the patient settling down a little bit. And we are ready for this, uh, in, uh, it's kind of a more, again, 0, 1, 1. And I know uh, Manish, a great lecture about the left main. So we are going to do this uh, do clinically one, one cranial shoot, can without you? IVAS. Yeah, we can do one cranial shoot. Epicranial, please. So it is a basically involving more tighter lesion into the LED, moderate lesion of the circ, but it's a truly a bifurcation left main, distal bifurcation left main. Now there is some disease at the ostium of the left main also. You see that? Yeah. When you put the guide, it uh, damps. And we learned that these kind of lesions in the past, go back to other view, that you leave that alone, patient comes back with the lesion uh, into the uh, ostia left main. So our goal is now to pro protect, uh, the, I mean also cover the ostia left main. So idea would be that from the septal, we go all the way one stent in the LED uh, left main. And second is, the second stent into the circumflex because circ in other view was very tight before and we can have discussion whether should we have one stent and then uh, just a bailout which could be okay also because short lesion of the circumflex is just very short lesion and uh, after kissing balloon dilatation some struts of the main vessel will cover the ostium of the circ and maybe that will be good enough. What is your feeling? So, so the approach, uh, Samin, I'm hearing is, is uh, stenting from that prox LED back to the ostium of the left main in a single stent strategy, and then assessing yeah. the that, yeah, that is, yes. yeah. yeah, yeah, it that is like for a good sure. Plan. Yeah, yeah. The question is that do we put a stent in the circ? Go. That do we put a stent in the circ? You don't need the picture. Yeah. Good. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it yeah. doesn't look like yeah. a severe lesion. But in do the we put a stent in the circ or keep it as a bailout? I, w I would yeah, keep yes. it as a bailout. Ten. Yeah, yeah. Sark definitely has. Yeah. Ten. Bailout. Yeah. Ten. Twelve. And twelve. Okay. Good. Negative. Okay. So what we do? Uh, we'll take a LAO caudal after we dilate the LED. Go, Go up. Eight. Ten. Twelve. Twelve. Fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah. Good. This is three O. Thirteen. Um, and Thirteen mosaic. And see. Yeah. Hello, Cordell, please. Yeah, this is where we saw a circ ostium before, but we'll take a picture now. Although it's a moderate lesion. Yeah, I, I, my, I would favor, um, you know, you can, you can always treat it if you need it to afterwards, if you feel like you need to pre-dial it, but I think if you can get away with a one cent technique, that would be, that would be best. Good. Okay. So good. So go back to our previous view and we go with the 3.5. Yeah, 3.5. 3.5 water. 40 or 38, what do you want? Cover the ostium of the left yeah. and everything. Up to yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or two stands. One in the ostium, 4.0 and then 3.5 water. Yeah. 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 We can, we can use actually two stands. Yeah. Maybe one stand from the mid left main, main to, the to the proximal LED and then one proximally from mid. Yeah. Ostium to so the meat. Or could be just one single stent. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think you have, uh, I don't know if uh, they have a biomine morph that's 4035, but it might, might work, or 3530. We have 4035? No. No. Biomine no. Morph, four, three, but five, uh, you need a 40 for the proxy. You have 4035? No. Biomine morph, 4035? No. 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 They don't make There's it, only right? 3.5. Yeah. 3.5 is the largest. Yeah. yeah. The other option is to do a 353. Yeah. So we can take a 3.5 water, 32 or 37, which we can cover completely. 
क्लिनिकल सेंस है ना 4.5 ना वेरी गुड गुड टेक द स्टेप मोशन 4.5 यू है 4.5 हम है आपका है या वो फोटो का रहने दो वो भी लगेगा विल सी या द पॉइंट इज वन शुड वांट टू डू ओवरलैप avoid the overlap at the side branch so idea would be that uh, if we are using two stent we'll end one yes. stent in the mid left main but let's see if this one covers Good. get ready yeah go to the view which we had earlier this one okay yeah this is good Okay, let's advance. Pull back the LED wire. Good, good. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Now take the guide out slightly. Good. Let's go, Sine. No, you're too far. Yeah. No. My stand is too inside. No, yeah. We don't need yet. Good. Okay. Let's take a picture here. Okay. This will be okay. Cranium? Yeah, go to AP, AP because you need to cover the ostium. ostium. AP cranium. Yeah, you have plenty of left. Go little area. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Proximally, we have to pull back a little bit. Let's see. Pull back a little bit proximally. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. No. This may be too yeah. much here. Yeah, you can go in. Okay. Bring the guide in. Yep. Yeah, guide is in. Okay. Now, Sine. Yeah. We can go in little a more. A little more. Yeah, you still still out too much. Or question you do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sine. No, but guide has to come in. Yeah. You won't know anything otherwise. Yeah. This is freeze. I think maybe okay. I think this looks okay. Okay. Uh, Could we go to RAO cordal again? Yeah. The or AP cordal. AP cord. Little more cordal. Deep cordal, please. Good. Bring the yeah. you know bring guide slightly in yeah. without changing the stand. Yeah. Good. Now Sene. You have to put guide in. Put yeah. the guide on the stand. Good. Sine now, so we know exactly. Hmm. I, I think, think we need to go mean, inside. Uh, inside LAO cranial might be more helpful here. Good. Okay. No, little too much here. Pull back. Go. Go to LAO cranial. That's another good view to coverage of that ostium. This actually is better coverage, uh, better. We'll so pull back two millimeter. Yeah. yeah. Pull back a little more. Yeah. See. Think we're okay. Just I think we are okay, right? I think you're right there. Everybody agrees? Yeah. I think that looks good, precise. Yeah. 
Nice, huh? Good. Now you have to pull back pull one, back. two millimeter okay. more. Here, freeze, de do me go. Can I have this freeze frame, please? Thank you. Put it there. Bus, bus. Thank you. Just two millimeter. Yeah. One more start back. Oh. Okay. No, we didn't one move. More. I yeah. think good. Now Go okay. 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 Yep. Hmm. Six. Eight. Ten. Nine, twelve. Twelve. Yep. It covered last year. Twelve. Fourteen. Fourteen. Sixteen. Sixteen. Fourteen. Yeah, sixteen. Sixteen. Good. Yeah. Negative. Negative. Quickly. Let it recover. Breathe few seconds. Yeah. And then we are going to go one more. Okay. Now, did we get the saturation? Yeah. Ninety-seven percent saturation. Just go up quickly again. Again, 14 atmosphere. 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14. Negative. Negative. These kind of cases in the past, we used to put a balloon pump, uh, impala, but in, you know, I think this could be a case. If you think that patient hemodynamically unstable, high EDP, then you need some support. But patient responded to uh, our medical therapy, became stabilized. Saturation was 98 percent and uh, then we went ahead with the, although we had a balloon pump ready in the room, in case it needs it. Okay, let's take a picture. Yeah. I think you've covered okay. those. Yeah, good, good, very good. Let's go to other view. Uh, same, our caudal view and we, you take this one out. Caudal. Take this one out. We don't need it. Before we take 4.5 uh, for the ostium of the LA. I think we can just point. use one 4.5 balloon yeah. to proximally dilate. But let's see now. Bring the guide in slightly and then we'll see. Yeah. Good, good. Okay. So, first thing, same thing we'll do. We'll take the wire out of the, sap, the circumflex and then recross it. Yeah, the circ looks good. Good. Now go back in again. Yep, so far very good. Actually, we saw that even earlier case, also that the diagonal looks so perfect. Yeah. That not even a 5% uh, pinch. So this is with the biomam design. Just give me uh, the needle, no? Just a little bend. Thank you. Yeah, same, the two ways. Either you bring out the wire, make a shape again, or you just change it to the main vessel and go to the side branch. Go. And also, there is also a little science behind nowadays that if you have a large vessel and you are stretching, your stent is over the side branch, you try to go through the distal end of the uh, cell on the ostium rather than the proximal, yeah. because otherwise you'll never be able to expand it. That's a very, very good point in the provisional uh, stenting is to recross at the most distal point, as Dr. Sharma is pointing out. So what I like to do is go past it, bring it back, and then torque in like he's just done. Yeah, that's it. Okay, good. Now bring the guide in so we understand exactly what size balloon you want to do and so. Yeah. Take the needle out. And leave the needle here. That's it. Okay. Good. Okay. Ready? Okay. Advance the other wire. No. Good. Now take up Sine. Hmm. There is a little pinch of the circumflex, which we expected. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. I think you can just post, do a POT and you're done. Yeah. 
get a 4.5 and it always was about 30 percent or you know now maybe 50 percent but rest of the vessel look perfect the septal remains nicely diagonals all all good no pinch now we have now which balloon we have show it it is a 4.510 Apollo and see which company makes it okay so this is a 4.510 for our proximal left main let us connect So now we go to the ostium. Can I can you go to the cranial view, please? AP cranial. And there were half coming out. Now there is another balloon which is a double layer balloon called ostial flash which is the central balloon and then outside the big let us say 4, 4.5 but then there is a second top of the balloon 8 or 12 millimeter idea is that stent struts which project outside the ostium are plastered against with that balloon ostial flash balloon. So it actually is very useful in the renal and of course the osteal vessels, particularly the right coronary. Yeah, absolutely. I don't tend to use it in the left main. Beautiful. Good. Go to the caudal view. We can take the wires out and take the pictures. Yeah. Looks very good. Take the wires out. That looks great, Perfect. I mean, looks great. No EK changes, patient doing very good. Yeah. So now the question always comes, in these cases, should you do a routine kissing balloon dilatation? As we know, in the non-left main, that question has been answered by various trials, like Nordic bifurcation 3 and others. But for the left main, that question will be answered by the Excel trial, where for the single stand technique, they left it to the operator, in the end do a kissing balloon or just leave it if the ostium is not compromised. This is the one stand technique. So of course, once you are two stand, you have to do a kissing balloon. So clearly that one stand technique, you, whether you do a routine kissing or not, we will have probably two, three hundred cases of the people who did a routine kissing, which like I am in that camp. Many people did not do a routine kissing and that data we will know by the Excel trial. So till that time, I think it's okay to leave it, that don't go after the circumflex or side branch unless it is compromised after the main vessel stenting by the single stent technique. No, I think that's a very that's good a very point very and point. it's, it's an excellent show yes. of how you can do a complex case simply. Uh, beautiful demonstration. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Great. Thank you very much.